using Veracross to join a public Evernote notebook plus much more. You will log in to Veracross on your iPad with the Veracross web link. If you do not see the web link, you can open Safari and go to this address. You enter your username and your school password. You will then see something like this on the student portal. To get to your teacher's um, websites in Veracross, you'll simply click on the word website. You may get a button that pops up that says view class website. If that does happen, go ahead and press on it. You will see something that looks a little like this at each class and you will press on the link or you could press on the link over here and when you do you will be asked if you want to join the notebook. You want to join the notebook because if you only view it then you have to go back to Veracross each time you want to look so students should always join notebooks. If a parent wants to uh, join a notebook they could get an Evernote account for free and then have all the information sent to them as well. When you press on the link to join a notebook you will need to log in to your Evernote account. You'll type your username and your password. It's okay to press remember me for a week. This is what you'll see in the web view, which is in Safari once you've joined the notebook. Once you join it for one class, you will need to find the tab which will have Veracross open and repeat this for joining each class. That'll take a little bit of time, but it'll pay great benefits as you go through the year. Once you've signed into Veracross, there are some things you want to take advantage of on your iPad. For instance, if you press under the calendar, you will see assignments for students. You can see school and athletic as well. But all teachers will be posting projects, quizzes, and tests in Veracross. Some teachers will also be posting a lot of assignments in Veracross so that you can see everything show up in a calendar. You also have something called a Veracross assignment planner, which is found underneath of assignments. You can see everything from all of your classes listed there for the week. Equally important is the middle school portal. When you are logged in on the student portal, you will see this link that says middle school portal. Information on digital textbooks, important links, summer reading, and other information can be found on the middle school portal. You will want to come here often, so this is how you get there. You're going to press on the middle school portal. You'll notice on the left hand side, summer reading, digital textbook links will have all the information of how you log in to any of the digital textbooks that your teachers and parents um, have subscribed you to. On the student links, you will see all sorts of important information like computer support, Outlook, Google Apps, things of that nature.